we grabbed this, which was awesome and wasn't even on camera, but this one, this one right here, you guys got to see. What is going on, you guys? It's your boy Isaiah King here. We are actually in New Jersey right now. My man uh, Tom hit me up on Instagram. He said, Isaiah, I'm looking to liquidate a lot of my collection. I see you're buying and cashing out. Come on up here to New Jersey. Let's make some deals. So he's got one of the craziest... He, he's the one of the best types of collectors. You don't see these people anymore. Everybody that collects shoes now is buying what's cool, what's hype. It's not the good stuff from back in the day. It's not the good quality stuff. It's not any gems. What we're about to look at in this unit today, whether I buy every pair or not, is going to be some crazy heat. You guys are going to love to see this. And uh, my man's super passionate about all of it and super knowledgeable. It's hard to find a sneakerhead who really knows what they're talking about these days. So let's crack this open and see what he's got inside. You don't want to be on camera? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Okay. Look at those boxes. All right. Let's get into it. Then. All right, where do you want to start? Either side? We'll start over here. What are those? SB Dunk Lows. These are ones. I'm going to put all these no-box dunks to the side because I'm going to have to do some research on those. So we can start with all this other stuff first here. Okay, easy money KD7s here, brand new in the box, size 10 and a half. So how do you want to do the prices? Do you want to tell me what you're wanting or would you rather me make you an offer? What, when you're making an offer, I'm either going to say okay or I'm going to say give me this or, or going to say I'll just keep them wearing. Okay, cool. Any normal colorway KD7, there's going to be some better ones in here that I'll pay more on. Normal color KD7s, I need to be around 100 on though. Yours. Okay, cool. All right, next pair, size 10 and a half. I don't know the official name of these. Yeah, yeah this like one's worn once. Yeah. Um, any of the used pairs, I would need to be at 60 on. 60? Okay, we yeah. cool. All right, next pair. Weatherman KD7. Brand new. This one I'm also going to be at 100 on. Those, they made the fits for those back in the day, too. Like, fit like an air mask. Yeah. Like it's different. Oh. And the clothes that they would come out with, like they made the elite socks, the shorts, the shirts, the hats, the hoodies. I mean, they had everything. Okay, this one is worn as well. Those bad apples, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, I would need to be a 60 on this one. Cool. Brand new. Don't know the official colorway name of this one. <laughs> this one's just kind of just one that came out. Um, I'm going to be at 100 on this one, though, as well. Yeah, those are weird. Okay, I'm going to be at 60 on that pair. Give me 70 for those. That's fine, man. I got yeah, you. 70 for those, because those were hard to fucking get, man. Those were like the Red October KDs at the time, yeah. This is my favorite. This is one of my favorite ones. There like, you go. I absolutely love it. I might actually keep this one, but. Fire. Oh, I love this shoe. Um, this is one I'm at 100 on, though, for sure. Oh, two pairs. Doubled up. See that? There you go. Yeah, I told you one I didn't wear. And this one's brand new, so I'll be at 100 on that one. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, my storage. You don't even really know what to say this color is. Like, it's not a peach, but it... Frank, these came out, that, man. Put them on. Um, do you have you ever seen the pair? I own it. It's all gold and it's got the holes in the back. It's the elite pair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the most uncomfortable shoe they of all suck. time. Nobody they, liked them. I love how they look, but I, have I the Olympics, but I, I can't find them. Damn! Oh, damn! That's like one of my favorite ones, man. Yeah, I got the all black suede premiums. Okay, now we're talking. That, okay, 2012. These, these are these are these are my beaters. These are beaters. Okay. So those are a give or take. 2012 Bread 11. I like the quality on this one better, but I like the high cut patent leather on the new ones more, I think. Have you ever gotten any of the new 11s? You rock, you rock those at all? Yeah, I think I got one I want to sell you. I got a real red one. Yeah, that's that stuff. That's why I got the wipes. Um, I would probably need to be at 140 on these. We're going to put them to the side. So I don't know if 140. I'm going to have 140. Well, what would you think your best price would be to let them go? I don't have a price. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, so what? What about 160? All right, good. Yeah, okay. All right, get into some of the cool Jordan ones we got here. What do we got? What do we got? I don't even know what we got. The Carmines. Oh, those are rare. 
The Carmines. I got a pair of these at home right now, actually. Look at that. They ain't Look DSO. Carmine ones. Icy bottoms. Original box. Are you impressed yet? Uh, man, I, I already know. I don't even have to open these boxes. I'm impressed. I, I knew when you called me that you knew what you were doing and that this was good stuff. Like, I can just tell by talking to people. You know what I mean? You ever talk to somebody who says they're a sneakerhead but don't know? But don't know you know what I'm saying? They'll be like... The new retro Jordan, you know, like, yeah. and they don't really know what they're saying. Yeah, that's, but I could tell that you did know what you were talking about when we talked I'm on the glad, phone. I'm, I'm glad that you're glad you came, man. Boy, you gotta give it for those motherfuckers. I know they worth a couple of dollars. If you gotta think about something, you can put it to Could you do, uh, could you do 230 on these? What do you think? Is that a good deal? Yeah, I'm, pro I'm probably gonna sell. I'm not. I'm definitely not gonna. I'm not. Cause I, I bought used pairs for around 150. So, so. What would you sell that brand new for? Probably three. So 230. Okay. okay. Is that cool with you? Yeah. Okay. That's another pair of Is this one that you'd want to keep? I mean, you're not gonna do that really long. Enough. Uh, let me take a look at them. And I'll make you an offer. They're pretty rare, though. Yeah, absolutely. They're old mids. It just, it sucks that rare now doesn't mean much. Like, back in the day, rare meant it was worth some money. Now it's like, the kids don't know what it is. It ain't worth money. You know what I'm saying? But we got these patent leather Jordan 1 mids. Did the Columbia on mids? Yeah, I think they came out around the same time the Legend Blues did, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'd probably be at 150 on these, so. Take okay. them. Oh, yeah, I am. The Highlight reels. They're worth some money. Boom. Size 10 and a half. Oh, yeah. <coughs> okay. Yeah, I know it works. This is one that I'm kind of low on because it's really hard to move it, even though it is a good shoe and a good colorway. It was it's just a hard seller. So yeah. Them and they didn't. And they didn't. It hit outlets, and then it was worth money, and then it wasn't worth money anymore. It's one of those. Um, but I would probably need to be be at 150 on these. So that's a rough one. What are they worth now? What would you get for them? I'd have to. I'm probably gonna sell them for 200. I could probably get more if I sat on them for like a few months. But for me to be able to move them in a reasonable time, probably gonna post them for two, make 40 bucks after fees. So you think 150 is a good price? I do because I buy used pairs. I swear I bought them for 40 dollars used. <coughs> <coughs> This is one that market's weird on. It's like hard to tell. Um, I, I would be at box price on these, one, 160. Okay. Okay. Laser orange Kobe's. DS. One of them. This pair I believe is worn. I don't think so. Check, baby. Pull it out. Yeah, I might have worn. Yeah. Okay. I'd probably also be at box price on this one because it's used. It goes for a little more than that one, but because it's used, I could still do box, so I'd be at 160 on it. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. First stuff is just installing. And those are good. Huh? And they're dead stuff. What are they? Look at that tongue. DS. Kobe 9 China Pack. China. Yeah, I wasted all my money on shoes. Now I gotta get rid of them because I'm 46. I'd want to be at 230 on these. Yeah, Highest bid online is 270 for a brand new pair, so that someone's willing to pay. So, I trust you. yeah, I just bought those. these. That's crazy. They can, they're not the condition. The quality, like when they retro this shoe, it's one day they will, and you feel it, and you touch the material, and you, it will never feel like this again. Just like those. You touch the mids exactly. Now, no, these don't even crease. Material. Yeah, you the mids, the mids now. You, I mean, so it's yeah, it's and Jordan fours now. Back in the day, Jordan fours didn't crack until they were eight years old. They crack right after I you wear them now. Jordan fours that look so weird. Like the front has got like this old man thing going. Like, what are those? I forget the name, but I just bought a, <laughs> just bought a pair of these. Um, not that clean. They were clean, but not this guy. See, your clean is a different type of clean, though. You know what I'm saying? I, I respect your clean. Oh, thank y'all. Um, 
This pair used, I would probably need to be at 150 on. They threw the tissue paper out. Okay, guys, we just found a gem in here. Probably one of my favorite Jordan 4s of all time, and it's super clean. The Sand Women's <laughs> Jordan 4, a 12 women's. That is absolutely bonkers. No creases. So nice. No creases. That's cool. All right, we just picked up four more pairs of Kobe, so I'm going to run through those real quick with you guys. All Kobe 9s. We got the Bruce Lee pair here. We got these Peach Mango Kobe 9s here. These are super hard. These Hyper Cobalt Blues. I've never seen them before, but this pair is like pretty awesome. I kind of want to rock these at least once. And then the last pair we got is this like dark red and green pair here with apparently glows in the dark, which is pretty cool too. So lots of good stuff there. We're about to break into the foam posits in just a sec now. All right, guys, so we just picked up like 12 or 15 pairs of foam posits and a bunch of old Kobe's and KD's um, just to conserve battery life on the camera because I didn't bring more than two batteries. I'm not going to film all of the negotiation processes, but I am going to walk you guys through every pair we buy. So first up, uh, we've got a KD6 in this Texas colorway, I believe is what it's called. I'm not the biggest KD6 head, um, but we've got this pair here we picked up for $60 worn once. Next up, we grabbed the KD6, what the brand new for 200 bucks in the box. Pretty good price on this pair. Uh, we'll probably make a good 50 to 70 bucks profit on that one. Moving on, we've got a brand new elephant print pink foam posit. I believe we grabbed this pair for 160 or 170, so good money to be made there. Next up, we've got the Concord foam posit, brand new. You do not see this shoe anymore. Brand new Concord foam posit. Uh, we grabbed this one for 160. 80, I want to say we grabbed this one for, so I don't have my list right in front of me, but we grabbed those for 180. Next foam posit we got here is a thermal foam. Um, we grabbed this pair for 130, it's used. It's not the easiest mover, but trying to pay fair on it. Normally I get this one for a little cheaper, but my man Tom, he doesn't really rock his shoes hard, so when he's got a pair that's used, it's super clean. Next foam posit we got is a brand new Yeezy foam. Uh, we grabbed this one for $220. Um, it's, it's, it's a pretty okay price. It's a little bit under market, so we'll probably make 50 or 60 bucks on that pair. Next up, we've got a pre-owned uh, duck camo foam posit, and this one's original all. We grabbed this pair for 140 bucks. We'll probably move those for about 180 online. Following that, we've got another foam posit. This is a brand new pair we grabbed for $150. Uh, the reason we're so much lower on this pair compared to the others is because it's a really hard colorway to sell. Um, but we did pay $150 on it, brand new, so not mad at that at all. Uh, this is another foam that I personally can't stand, and it's pretty hard to move, but brand new. Um, I'm not mad at that. It's hard to find this shoe brand new or pre-owned for that matter. Um, but we grabbed this one for $150, bucks, just like that, uh, that Volt and Gray pair there. So good price there. <laughs> Getting to the end of the foam posits, a couple more. Uh, we've got this black suede pair here in a size 10 and a half, and I want to say I paid 200 or 220 on this pair, um, but man, the suede on this shoe, they don't make shoes like this anymore. Um, it's not like it's got two-tone suede like you would see on another another sneaker. This suede just, it's like super soft butter. It's hard to explain, but they I promise you, you haven't felt a suede like this since a Jordan 6 Varsity back in 2010. Another 10 and a half foam posit, brand new, the Wheat Timberland pair. Um, I remember back when I was a kid, this pair I wanted so bad because it looked like a pair of Timberlands, and uh, I never had either one of them, but now I do. So this is a pretty cool one, brand new 10 and a half. I believe we paid 180 or 200 on this shoe. Um, so either way, good price on that pair. All right, this should be the last foam posit we got today. Um, this is the Asteroid Foam. We've got this one pre-owned for 140 bucks. It's a pretty good mover in a size 10 and a half. Any foam posit 10 and a half and up is usually a good seller. Smaller sizes don't move that well because I don't know. I feel like just people who are like usually have smaller feet are shorter and I feel like they just don't look that good in foams maybe. So I feel like bigger dudes like foam posits because it's a big, big shoe. So uh, grab this one for 140. That's another good price there. Um, the following pairs we grabbed are three more so far and we're going to get back to it after this. Um, but we've got these Kobe, Kobe 8 Christmases, brand new. Uh, we grabbed this pair for, I believe, 270. These spikes all over the toe box. I've actually never seen this shoe before. Um, and it's got the really cool Christmas ornament on the tongue. I know the KD6 that came out the same year had this on it as well. And uh, that nice volt green bottom. So 270 on this shoe, 
good profit to be made there. Another Kobe 8. This pair is pre-owned. Um, we grabbed this one for, I believe, $140, um, but pretty good price. Kobe's, Kobe, older Kobe's are kind of in the wave right now, so good one to be good one to be purchased. Okay, and we had one more KD7 that I didn't get in the video earlier that we picked up, and it is another pair with some banger black suede on it. Um, this pair is brand new. We grabbed it for $100. Um, I wish I could pay more on this kind of stuff because I know, you know, like when Tom bought it back originally, he paid a lot for it. But shoes like this, for some reason, they're just not appreciated as much anymore, and so we can't pay as much for it. Um, but we did grab them for 100 bucks. I'll probably sell them online for anywhere from 150 to 160. It's going to be a slow mover, but it will eventually sell. And if not, it's my size. So, so we got this DS Playoff 8 Dunk Low lookalike shoe here, brand new. And then we've also got, like I said before, the DS Playoff 8. I love, this is one of my favorite Jordan 8s. It's right up there with the Aquas. I got Aquas. Now we're talking. Brand, both brand new for 380 So good prices there. Wolf Gray 14, brand new, size 10 and a half. Um, box is what I got to be at on these. That's it? This is one of the hardest shoes to move. This is box. 170. Worn probably once. Super clean though, size 10 and a half. Um, I'd like to be at 190 on these. That's fine. I got you, man. All right, next pair we got is a Bread 11 Low, um, brand new, size 10 and a half. This one I told you on the phone, I'm going to be at 250 on this. Same thing with the Concords. Okay. Bread 11 Low, brand new. Worn once, gray Yeezy foams. Lightly worn, OG box. Um, this is one I gotta be at 150 on. Next up, we got an Air Jordan 3. I'm gonna guess it's a true blue. Oh, it's an infrared. Yes, it is. Very cool. You don't see these too often brand new anymore. No, you don't. OG box, size 10 and a half. This is one that I need to be at 220 on. Box price is 170. That's it? Highest bid for a pair on StockX is 235. So if I was to take pad, I'd lose. But I mean, I'm going to sell it for more, obviously. But uh, 220 is where I'd be comfortable at. And I'm going to sell it probably for 280. So but it's up to you. OK. Next up, size 10 and a half Air Jordan 6. The blue Motorsports, brand new, original box. Um, this is one I'd have to be at. Let me look up, see if I can do any better on it. Oh, I said motorsport, didn't I? It's actually a sport blue. Yeah. I don't know why I said motorsport. Yeah, I'd have to be at 180 on this pair. Box is 170, just because they're going for like 250 online right now. That's what I was going to, I can meet you halfway at 190. That would probably be my best on them. Okay. Five, size 10 and a half here. Uh, the blow, one of my favorite Jordan fives of all time. Black grape five. No yellow in that. No yellow. A little bit. Yeah, but that's that just looks nice, honestly. I would need to be at 240 on this pair. 250. That's fine. I'll take the 250. Black Grade 5, 250 bucks, brand new. Uh, Barcelona Days 7, brand new. Um, 10 and a half. This is one brand new I would be at 150 on. I know it's kind of low, but this shoe is... I, I pay $60 for it used, so I'd be at 150 if you'd rather hold it, I understand, but it's up to you. Okay. Black Toe 14, one of my favorite Jordan 14s to ever release. When they retro it, it will never be as good as this one is. This one is just awesome. We got a worn once pair here in a size 10 and a half. Um, I need to be at 180 on this pair. You like those? I do like them. 200. Come on, 200. I'll meet you halfway at 190. That's, that's 20 over box price and it's used. I know. I gotta be, I do like them, but I gotta be, I gotta be at 190. If I can't pay up, I would. $10. I've been doing your tens on all, and you got me ten on those up top. Remember, I said 280 or 380, and it was 370. You can do 190. Okay. Well, all right. Thank you. Dirty bread 13. That's a dirty bread 13. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dirty bread 13, size so 10 and a half, brand new. Um. I'd probably be, box is 185, two is probably my best on it, because it's a, it's a hard mover. 
Yeah, take 10. Okay. We have an Air Jordan 11 low, the infrareds, brand new, <coughs> size 10 and a half. Um, box is 150 on these. I'd be happy at two if that's possible. Mm, like, yeah, be so. Highest bid on them, brand new, is 226. I could come up to 220. Okay, got a pair of, I hate this shoe, 3M Jordan 13s, brand new. Um, this one I'm going to be a little bit lower on. Box is 200 on these. I would probably be at 160. I, uh, 170 would probably be my best. Okay. Uh, 11 Lab 4, is this is the black pair. It's brand new. Brand new 11 Lab 4. OG All, size 10 and a half. Uh, I'd probably be at box, which is 250. Okay. All right, we grabbed the 11 Lab 4s, brand new for 250. Moving on to our next pair here. We have got a, a Gold Tongue Air Jordan 5, worn once. Um, these I am very low on. It's just hard to sell. Um, I'd be at 100 on these. Okay. Grab those for 100 bucks. Air Jordan 13. Hologram. Brand new. Oh, forgot you guys aren't me. I can't see him. I thought those are Barons. Uh, I think they're also called Barons. Yeah, I always call them Hologram because of the, see that shine on them there? Yeah. yeah. Hologram 13, brand new, size 10 and a half. I would need to be at 170 on these. Really? Yeah, highest bid for a pair is 220 and last sale was 210. 380. This one I probably, I know it's a hard mover. I probably have to be stuck at 170. If I could come up, I would for sure because I, I know we're, Trying to be fair here, but last sale was 210 and me paying 170. All right, okay, we'll bang okay. on the next one. Okay. Next one. <laughs> I hope this is what I think it is. It is what you think it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is what you think it is. Talk, talk, talk fucking crazy. That's my employee calling me. Hey, John, answer this FaceTime call. Uh, oh, where's those fours at? Show me those sand fours. Oh, no. Right here, linens, linens. Hey, John, look at this, my size, buddy. Answer this FaceTime call. Oh, my God. Yeah. What size, what size is that? My size, motherfucker. Are you keeping it? Bro, yeah, I'm fucking keeping it. And look at this. Look at what I just opened up. Never even touched the pavement, buddy. Oh, my God. Big John's not so behind the camera today, everybody. He wanted to stay home and be in bed. While we're here cashing <laughs> out. So, but all right, buddy, I'll call you when I hit the road. Hey, uh, I wanted to let you know it's raining really bad, so Destin got canceled, so I'm going to post everything else at your house now. So the whole reason you didn't come with me, you're now not doing? All right, bro, fuck you, dude. All right, see ya. See ya. All right, jackass. <laughs> oh, shit. It's brand new Air Jordan 14 Ferrari. Potentially one of the best. This and the Black Toe 14, two of my favorites, and the Laney's, which they're retroing, but won't be that nice. Uh, okay, I'd like to be at three on these. 300. Last sale was 380. I see that look in your eye. How about we do 320? Now we're talking. Concord. It's a Concord, yeah. This one I'm pretty low on. Uh, we got a pre owned Concord Air Jordan 2 here. Um, this one I'd be at 70 on. Yeah. yeah, I figured. It's hard for me to sell. What would your best be? 100. Key to 90? Give me 100 bucks, man. This is quality pre owned stuff. I agree. You and me agree yeah, on this. Yeah, yeah. It's the masses that don't agree that that's a nice shoe. It's 100 bucks. Yeah. All right, 100 bucks. Fuck it. Concord 2, $100. Just hit 70 pairs, by the way. <laughs> Okay. Agreed Already agreed on a price for these, but the Concord 11 Low, brand new for 250 bucks. Motorsport, brand new, size 10 and a half. 
I'd like to be at 220 on these boxes, 170. 230. It's only 10 bucks. All right. I'll make a few bucks. This is the fucking shit. I love this shoe. Love this shoe. By the way, for everybody watching, there's an icy size 11 and a half available on my eBay for right now of these. Look at that. That just looks so cool. It's got the, the yellow to the red to the blue. That's awesome. Black tongue, fire red fives, size 10 and a half. Brand new. Got a number in mind, but let me look them up and see the most I can do for you. On I would want to be at 180, box is 160. I can meet you halfway at 190. That would be like my, my peak. All right, thank you, man. Air Jordan 3, wolf gray, size 10 and a half. Brand new. I never liked these that much. I need to be at 190 on these. 200. Okay. 200 on the Wolf Gray 3. Uh, 2014 Infrared 6. It's one of my favorite ones. Me too. It's a pretty shoe. Brand new, size 10 and a half. Um, I'd be at two on these because the new ones came out, and so this this one's really hard to sell. Box is 185. Yeah, I got it. Okay. This is like, you know. I'd probably want to be at like 130 on it. I'll do 130. Okay. Because it got his fucking picture on it. it. Looks like a bootleg. Um. I'd, I'd want to be at 120, probably. That's it? Yeah. I know that's low, but I got a worn once pair last night for like 60 bucks. And uh, I don't know. I've, I don't know how long it's going to take me to move. Because not many people are looking for this shoe. All right. Okay. okay. I'm never going to wear them. They've been sitting since they came out, so. Harry 12s, size 10. Yeah, no, yeah. Those are dead stock. Brand new Cherry 12s. So hard to... I was going to tell you, we're going to get to some shoes that's kind of rough. Yeah, it takes some thought. Those are a rough one. They've never been retro and they're dead stock. There's not quite too many pairs in the country. I'd like to be at two. I don't know if that's too low for you or not, but... You think that's fair for those? It's just because I know that I have to sell them to a collector now because they can't be worn anymore. Why not? I can already, they're gonna fall apart if you wear these, 100%. So the funny thing, I don't know if you know this, used old shoes, because when you wear them, the sole gets softer and compresses, right. they don't fall apart. Brand new old shoes, right. they fall apart because they're, they never were like broken, if that makes sense. Okay. You know what I've I mean? Heard that before. Yeah, so that's why I know that whoever buys this is not, knows they're not gonna wear it. And so five years ago, a brand new pair, I could have paid high on because they still would have lasted. But now whoever buys them will probably have to re-glue them or, or, you know what I mean? So two was like, would be, I'd be comfortable because I, I'm kind of taking a risk on them. I'll take two. Okay. These are cool though. They are fucking cool. Uh, Laker six. It's not something you see every day. Nope. Dead stock. Brand new Laker six. I'd probably be a little lower just because this doesn't go for as much. Probably want to be at 150, which was box, I think. If that's too low, I totally understand. I'll take 200, man. Let me see the very best I can do. If you can make 170 work, I'll take them. If not, I'll probably hold off for now. Feet are starting to hurt. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah? Okay. This is what I mean by they retro does. Varsity Red Sixes. I think one time they came out in a pack. I just don't remember if the pack came out before this one or after this one. Because I know the black and the black varsity sixes. I might hold off on this one for now. I just think I'd be too low. What's too low? I don't think I could pass them as brand new. They are. I know, but the I know this is small probably to you, but when I when you sell them on those apps, if they have anything that's different than when they came out, they won't pass them. And so 
of old sending back. So like the stains on the laces or like any sock lint or anything like that just affects that, which I know sounds stupid, but oh, yeah. when Probably you sell them online. Them never been open. I don't know what that's there for. And then like that, I know it's not on you, I'm just saying yeah. it's just there. So I'd probably want to be like 120, which is, I didn't want to lowball you and make, give you a low offer because I know these are a good shoe. So if you'd rather hold them, I understand, but that's probably where my I'm best. Wear, so okay. That's my hair and just go sit on the beach in these. Just focus up on this. Part. Linen fours, my size. So last sale for a brand new pair was 400. Um, I probably want to be at 220 for a used pair. That's it. Give me I could come up to 230. That would probably That's be my it? best, just because of the factor of they're old. If this was five years ago, like I said, I'd definitely be willing to pay up on them. But because they're old and they're gonna fall apart at some point I'll soon. Take All right. Linen four for 230. Okay, you guys. So there was definitely some more deals that went down off camera. Um, they actually just stepped away. I just got done putting all my pairs that I purchased against the wall. I bought a ton of LeBron 10 Lows and LeBron 11s for about $50 to $80 a pair, depending on if they were used or brand new. Um, but some of those include Everglade LeBron 11s, Christmas LeBron 11s, What the LeBron 11s, and then a ton of LeBron 10 Lows, which I hate. But we got brand new pairs for $50 and $60 a pair and used pairs for $40 a pair. So I do think those will move over time, even though they will be a slow seller. Um, but we bought a ton of those. So this is all... LeBron 11s and LeBron 10 lows here, probably a good 25 to 30 pairs. Um, and then we picked up some other stuff too, I'll show you. So we grabbed these bread, uh, black, black cement bread four dunks, brand new for $100 with no box. Um, we also grabbed the crawfish dunk low worn once for 200 bucks. Uh, that was not a bad deal there. I'll show you guys some of the other pretty cool pickups we got here. A lot of this older stuff we grabbed, uh, I wasn't able to pay too great on, but I'll show those to you. We grabbed this DS flu game for $170. Uh, this box is a little hard to take out, but we got this Concord 11 for 50. It's pretty used though. We're gonna have to restore that. Uh, we got this sand four that I'm gonna keep for $250. Um, we grabbed the DS, well, probably passes DS. It's hard to say, but um, I grabbed these for 120 bucks. I think they will pass as DS, but I'm gonna be, be checky trying uh grab these for 100 and i want to say 70 brand new um grabbed these for 200 dollars brand new those were pretty cool we grabbed this which was awesome and wasn't even on camera but this one this one right here you guys gotta see a shattered backboard jordan 1 ds for 900 dollars, size 10 and a half we got the air jordan 11 pantone pack well let's look at the good one first We grabbed this pack brand new for retail, 500 bucks there. And then we also grabbed two Legend Blue 11s, um, both brand new size 10 and a half. Uh, we grabbed both of those for 250 bucks a pair. I so overall, you guys, we did grab 130 pairs today from my man, Tom. He was super cool. I think I'm out of cash. He did say he had some more, so I might make another trip up here pretty soon. Um, but I'm super satisfied with today's pickups. Um, if, you if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to go ahead and like the video to help support the algorithm with our posts. You know, I'm traveling a lot, doing a lot of trips, trying to make these videos possible for you guys. And so make sure to support the video so that we can keep posting them and letting us know that you guys enjoy them. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to shop any of these shoes that I'm going to have available for sale, my eBay page will be linked below. And if you want to connect with me on social media for one-on-one -on -one reseller coaching or advice, you can do so by clicking the link in my description as well to visit me on Instagram. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the cash out video today. I'll see you in the next one.